Shalom and welcome back to Wife Hack by Tina Sheree and welcome to your weekly message. It's going to be a random message. Um, I just literally opened my Bible and it's like the first thing that stood out to me, obviously it's going to be highlighted, um, is what it's going to be. So just go with me. It will all work together. Romans 8, 28, let me tell you. Um, but don't forget to check me out on the Death Wobble podcast and to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's pray. Father God, we give you all the glory. We praise you. We magnify you, Lord. And we ask that you forgive us of sins we've committed knowingly and unknowingly. And we repent of sins committed by us and our ancestors. Open our eyes, our ears, our hearts, and minds to receive the word that you would like us to hear today. Make me your personal conduit so I can say to your people what you want me to say. Me in the background, you in the foreground, this is about your glory. We thank you for the revelation, the confirmation, and the clarity in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the honor time word let's go here thank you for the all time god please give me what you need to give me so i can give to your people what you want me to say um in jesus name amen so turn with me if you will in your bible to proverbs 16 4 the lord has made everything for its purpose even the wicked for the day of trouble <laughs> God, I totally feel like I'm totally like copying. <laughs> it's God for real. I feel like it's copying because that's literally what the bishop is preaching about. That hurt, that church hurt, you, everything you've gone through, it was a gift for you. And right here, it's telling you that everything, everything, everything was made for a purpose. Everything everything when you got into that bad relationship that was for a purpose my god when you took that job that made you work over your hours all the time without getting paid and they would make you work holidays and you couldn't spend time with your family that was for a purpose everything everything your kids messing up in school being called by the principal all the time that was for a purpose everything is for a purpose everything i can't it so coincides so well um it's probably like delayed it's like either i'm a week ahead of time or a week after just what it is and it's like i let the holy spirit guide me the way he wants i just say what he wants me to say at the end of the day um praise god that it does coincide because maybe that means <laughs> this for real, for real. <laughs> I don't know. But either which way, when we're looking at this word. It is a random message. So please bear with me. Um, everything is made for its purpose. Even the wicked for the day of trouble. Even the people that have hurt you, people who have betrayed you, people who have lied on you, people who cheated on you the people that they're gonna have their day of trouble it was for a purpose but now the purpose because you reap what you sow now they're gonna get that back sometimes god likes to um multiply i've noticed (laughs) god's way is multiplication just what it is that goes either which way Either the good or the bad, it's multiplication. My God. Um, sometimes we don't understand how he works. I <laughs> I'm a living witness. I will um go shout it from the rooftop. Um God's glory and God's grace and God I'll shout it. But then at the end of the day, it's like if he's given me specific instructions and specific assignment it's like but this does not make sense <laughs> but we learned right here in proverbs sixteen four that the lord has made everything for his purpose so if god has given you something even if it's you just it don't make sense it's like i don't get it i just do it because there's a reason there is a purpose for it my god don't disrupt what God is trying to... My God, can... Wow. Don't disrupt what God... Even if it don't make sense to you. Oh, if it don't make sense, don't disrupt it. Just go with it. My 
God. Just go with it because it says right here, even the wicked for the day of trouble. If you are clearly being disobedient to what God wants, that means you are one of the wicked. Oh, I'm going to say that again. If you are clearly being disobedient to what God has told you, you need to be doing then you're being disobedient. I, I, because I ran so long, I ran so long, I ran, I thought so far away, nah, um, but I ran for so long. Oh, I ran for so long that now it's like, whatever you want, whatever you want, I may want it, I may not want it, I may understand it. I may not understand it, but I'll just do it. My God, I just will do it. My God, that's how we all should be in this time. We should all just do it. Whatever God is putting on your heart, wherever he's guiding you to take the steps, do it. No matter how difficult, no matter how pressing it seems, no matter how impossible. My God, we know that all things are possible for God. All things. All things. So that thing that God is telling you. <laughs> do it. Because the Lord has made everything for its purpose. There is a purpose. He doesn't just make things willy nilly. He doesn't have somebody um, create a shoe. Oh, it doesn't have a purpose. It's just to look cute. It's going to sit right here in this corner collecting dust. Never mind the fact that it's a shoe and there's a purpose for that shoe. My God, there is a purpose for that shoe. No, I'm going to create it just to create it. And then when I'm done creating it, I'm just going to ball it up and throw it away. No. If that's not how us people work, that is not how the Lord works. He's not going to ball you up and throw you away. There is a purpose. My God. My God. So, anyway, I will link in the description a life-giving message from Bishop Kevin Foreman. It will bless you. It will inspire you, it will change your life. And thank you so much. It is such an honor and shalom.